My name is Marcy Crawford, and I was diagnosed with stage 4 breast cancer four years ago. It was very scary, and at first I thought I was going to die. But something inside me told me that somehow, some way, I was going to be okay, that God was going to take care of me. He has. I'm still here. I have learned on this journey to give up trying to control the progress or the outcome of this disease. God is in control, and I have learned to say, Thy will be done, and really mean it. I have never seen myself in a battle with cancer. When you are engaged in a battle, you are constantly focusing on the battle. And I believe the more you focus on something, the more of it comes your way. Rather, I view it as it is what it is, and I don't think about the cancer. I go on with my life and spend time with my wonderful, supportive family. I engage in community service, serving as director on the boards of Calaveras Big Tree State Park and the Unity Church in the Mother Lode. I play poker once a month with my car chalk friends, and I belong to a book club. I don't sweat the small stuff. Life is good. Every day is a gift. I chose Mercy Cancer Center based on the recommendations of two doctors who felt they were doing good work there. I really am happy with my choice. I trust and respect my oncologist, and the team at the center is remarkable. I have been going there so long, it's like the TV series Cheers. Everyone knows my name. Until recently, Medicare paid for everything. However, I am now on a new drug that costs $12,500 a month for 21 pills. My initial payment was almost $3,000 for that first month, and now the cost is down to $525 a month. Fortunately, I received a grant from the Patient Access Foundation, and the grant is paying for my drugs. Medicare pays for everything else. My advice to anyone who is given a diagnosis of cancer is never give up, no matter what they tell you. Never, never give up. I am going to be 77 years old next month, and I have been saying my goal is 80. However, I promise you when I reach 80, I will be renegotiating.